Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick or Android TV. IPTV Smarters is a media player that works for majority of IPTV providers. It doesn't buffer and works really smoothly. That's the main reason it's one of the best IPTV players in 2024. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Smarters Pro to your device. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you gotta go to the search on your device. There it is. And in the search bar, start typing the loader. As you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So, to set up the loader, we'll need to go to the settings. So, let's do it right now. Click on that button with the gear icon. Then, we need to scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Open it. Here, you'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you have to locate the loader and make sure to turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Italy right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you 3 months of service for free. Now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the downloader application. And there it is, open it, wait until it loads for you. Then, it's really important that on the left side menu, you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure to click on Home, and then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be iptvsmarters.com. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's going to be iptvsmarters. So iptvsmarters. dot com so here we go that's the exact link you can see it on your screen right now once again it's iptvsmarters.com make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make any mistake the link is not going to work for you properly after that we have to click on go 
And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more content for you. Now when the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit. Here, first of all, you see the downloads section and the newest version of the app. But if for some reason you want to get the old version of IPTV Smarters, it's possible as well. Just keep scrolling and as you can see, here it says old version, that's the 2022 version of the app. You would need to scroll down a bit more and there you would have an option to get the older version of the app. But in our case, we really do not need the old version, we need the newest one. So just scroll up until you see that new version thing and here just click on direct download button of the APK file. Now in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click on install and wait until IPTV Smarters Pro gets installed to your Fire Stick or to your Android TV. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files and save you some free space on your Fire Stick. And that's really important, because well, you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, and there it is, open it, scroll down, and here you'll find IPTV Smarters. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can get three months of NordVPN totally for free if you use the link below the video. Then finally open the IPTV Smarters. Here we have to select our device type. Obviously it's going to be TV since we are using a Fire Stick. Click on save. Then you have to scroll down the license agreement and click on the accept button. So click on accept. And from here, the app is pretty straightforward. So there are two main ways to watch IPTV content. One of them is using the M3U links. That's the most popular way. If your live TV provider uses the M3U playlists, then you have to click on M3U here. Click allow. There at the top, add any name to your playlist. It's completely up to you which name to add and then decide whether to upload your playlist as a file. To do so, you would need to click on Browse and select it from the memory of your device, or select the M3U URL and enter the link right here. After you enter the link, you click on Add Playlist. And now regarding the links, there are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which IPTV to use. On this channel, we will not be recommending any specific IPTV provider. It's completely up to you which one to choose, you can use Google to find out what's the best ones for you. After you add the playlist, just click on the list of playlists button and it's going to appear right here for you. Also, there is a way to use the Xtreme codes if your provider has such an option. To do so, you would need to click on Xtreme codes. Here, add any name to your playlist and then a username, a password and a link. All that data, once again, you get from your IPTV provider. Then you click on add playlist and it's going to appear in the list right here. And that's it, that was the easy way to get IPTV Smarters app to your Fire Stick or Android TV.